Hey everyone, welcome back to All About Central. In this video, we are going to show you some of the best places visited by tourists in New York City, which is one of the most exciting and diverse cities in the world. If you're planning a trip to the Big Apple or looking to relive a past experience, we've got you covered. We'll give you some interesting facts and historical information about these places so that you can fully appreciate the cultural significance of these iconic destinations. So let's get started. Let's start with one of the most recognizable landmarks in New York City, the Statue of Liberty. This iconic statue is a symbol of freedom and was gifted to the United States by France in 1886. Did you know that the statue is made of copper and that it weighs 225 tons? Visitors can climb to the top of the statue and enjoy stunning views of the city. The ferry ride to the island is also a great experience, providing panoramic views of the Manhattan skyline. Another famous landmark in New York City is the Empire State Building. It was completed in 1931 and was the tallest building in the world until 1970. The building is an Art Deco masterpiece and has been featured in numerous movies and TV shows. Visitors can go to the observation deck on the 86th floor and enjoy a 360-degree view of the city. One of the most popular attractions in New York City is Central Park. This huge urban park spans 843 acres and provides a peaceful oasis in the midst of the bustling city. Visitors can enjoy a picnic, take a stroll around the lake, or rent a boat and paddle around the water. Did you know that Central Park was designed by Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vaux in the mid-1800s? It was the first landscaped public park in the United States. If you're a fan of art and culture, then you won't want to miss the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The museum is home to over 2 million works of art, spanning 5,000 years of history. Visitors can explore galleries dedicated to ancient Egypt, European paintings, and American decorative arts, to name just a few. The museum also has a rooftop garden with stunning views of Central Park. Likewise, the Museum of Modern Art, or MoMA, is a must-visit destination for art lovers. The museum is home to an impressive collection of modern and contemporary art, including works by famous artists such as Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, and Jackson Pollock. Visitors can also enjoy films, performances, and special exhibitions at the museum. No trip to New York City is complete without a visit to Times Square. This iconic location is known as the Crossroads of the World, and is famous for its bright lights and billboards. Did you know that Times Square was named after the New York Times newspaper, which moved its headquarters to the area in 1904? Before that, it was known as Longacre Square. Also in this bustling area, visitors can shop, dine, and take in a Broadway show. Another place that is usually visited is the Rockefeller Center. It is an iconic complex, not just by a collection of buildings but also a cultural and entertainment destination that has been a symbol of American optimism and ambition for over 80 years. Did you know that Rockefeller Center was developed in the 1930s by the Rockefeller family? They wanted to create a new commercial and cultural center in the heart of Manhattan. It is composed of 19 buildings, including the famous 70-story GE Building, also known as 30 Rockefeller Plaza. The complex is built around a central plaza, which features a famous fountain and a statue of Prometheus. The buildings are adorned with beautiful murals, sculptures, and mosaics, making it a stunning example of Art Deco design, which style that was popular in that era. In addition to its historic and architectural significance, Rockefeller Center is also a popular destination for entertainment and cultural activities. It is home to several famous attractions, including Radio City Music Hall, where the famous Rockettes perform, and the Top of the Rock Observation Deck, which offers breathtaking views of the city. Rockefeller Center also hosts several annual events, such as the famous Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony. 
The 9-11 Memorial and Museum is a sobering reminder of the tragic events that took place on September 11, 2001. The memorial features two enormous reflecting pools, each one occupying the footprint of one of the Twin Towers. The museum tells the story of the events of 9-11 through a collection of artifacts, exhibits, and personal stories. It's a moving experience that honors the lives lost on that fateful day. After years of planning and construction since the tragedy of the Twin Towers, the One World Trade Center opened to the public in 2014, serving as a symbol of hope and renewal for the city and the world. The tower's elegant and streamlined form is a nod to the Art Deco buildings of the past, while its cutting-edge technology and environmental features make it a model for the future. As you enter the building, you'll be greeted by a stunning lobby with a 64-foot-high ceiling and a cascading waterfall. This space is also home to a number of artworks, including a mural by the acclaimed American artist Jose Parla measuring 90 feet wide. At the top of the building, you'll find the One World Observatory on the 102nd floor, which you can reach in just 47 seconds via the high-speed elevators from the ground floor. Once there, you'll be treated to panoramic views of the city skyline, including iconic landmarks like the Empire State Building, the Statue of Liberty, and the Brooklyn Bridge. The observatory also offers a range of interactive exhibits that allow you to learn more about the building's design and construction, as well as the history of New York City. The Brooklyn Bridge is one of the most iconic landmarks in New York City. It was completed in 1883 and was the longest suspension bridge in the world at the time. The bridge spans the East River and connects the boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn. Visitors can take a stroll across the bridge and enjoy stunning views of the skyline and the water below. Next one is the Grand Central Terminal. The original Grand Central Station, which opened in 1871, was a much smaller building and could no longer accommodate the increasing number of commuters in the city. In the early 1900s, the New York Central Railroad decided to construct a new terminal, which would not only be functional but also grand and beautiful. One interesting fact about the terminal is that there is a secret room, called the M42, located 100 feet below the station. This room was used as a power station for the original trolley system and later as a storage facility. In addition to its historic and architectural significance, Grand Central Terminal is also a popular destination for shopping and dining. The terminal is home of several unique shops, selling everything from books and jewelry to gourmet foods and handmade crafts with over 35 restaurants and food vendors. The High Line is a unique public park that runs along an abandoned elevated railroad track. The park is elevated above the streets of the city and provides a unique perspective on the urban landscape. Visitors can enjoy gardens, art installations, and stunning views of the city. The High Line is also home to a variety of events and performances throughout the year. So there you have it, some of the must-visited places to visit as a tourist in New York City. From iconic landmarks to peaceful parks, cultural institutions, and family-friendly destinations, there's something for everyone in the Big Apple. We hope you've enjoyed learning about these destinations and their historical significance. If you're planning a trip to New York City, be sure to check out these amazing attractions and experience the city's unique and vibrant culture for yourself. Please comment below and let us know which places you are planning to visit or which ones you enjoyed during your stay. Also, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel to see more content like this and help it grow. Stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for watching.